Hello. So they say you should always start, uh, you know, start your speech off with a good joke, right? So I put these, <laughs> I put these jokes on Facebook, and half of you've probably already seen them. But oh my goodness, they're, they're they're stupid, but they're like right up my alley, right up my. They just like nail my sense of humor. So okay. What is E.T. short for? Because he has stubby legs. <laughs> two, two, two parrots are sitting on a perch, and one of them turns to the other and says, Do you smell fish? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I better quit because there's like a whole list of them. I'd use up all my time. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Zane, Zane was my boy. And uh, this whole time of year, <clears throat> you know, Kingdom Jam, that's really, that's my dad's baby. And he's, he's, he's done that. I mean, Zane was our son, but uh, Kingdom Jam is really, is here because of my, my dad. And we're really grateful so I know we announced this already, but each year this thing has just gotten bigger and bigger. And um, the first, the very first year, I think we raised five hundred dollars. And last year it was up to three thousand, and this year it was it was over six, six thousand dollars. So, and you know he gears that up, but there's a lot of people in in this church that do a lot of work for that, and we're you know we're really grateful. Um, my wife and I for that and um, so yeah his he Zane was uh, he was an amazing little kid and uh, it's been seven years and there's some times when it still just takes my breath away That's the best sound in the world, man. Yeah. And I don't <clears throat> I don't ever want that to go away because then he becomes just a story that I tell. Um so I'm I'm grateful for that. I know that sounds weird, maybe. So yeah, all that uh, set a series of events in motion, and I decided at age 41 to go back to school. What the heck, man? Um, I didn't even have my undergrad finished yet, but I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I would, not God wanted me to, to go to medical school. Um. And that's a whole nother story. That's a long, long kind of story too. But uh, as weird as that sounds, uh, he has totally blown down all the barriers and roadblocks that would have been in my way to make that happen. And so right now, um, I'm a little over halfway through my third year of medical school. Crazy, huh? <laughs> and... There is no way that that ever would have happened without Jesus Christ, without God. I mean, he's, this is, this is all for him. Um, you know, a year and a half from now, I'll have some initials after my name, but I'm not proud of those. And I really don't want any of you to call me anything other than just Eric. If that's okay with you guys. It's just it's just the path that he set me on. It's just what I'm I'm supposed to do to serve him. It's nothing nothing else. It's nothing other than that. It's just the set of you know the, the set of gifts and talents that he has given me to use. And I guess that's the the thing that he's put in my heart is is to me for me 
that is no bigger deal than being just an amazing mechanic. I couldn't do that. I don't have that set of, of, of talents or, or being any kind of craftsman or any other, you pick any other occupation out there. If you, if you do it with all your heart and you're good at it, I, Hey, you've got my respect because there's a lot of ta talents and gifts I don't have. I just happen to have that set. So, um, the other amazing thing that he's done here just in the last few months is he he's opened up the doors um, for me uh, to be able to start my actual career here in Salina. Um, I have a contract with Salina Regional to stay. Um, and if, if God allows it, I'll stay here forever. Um, I'll go over wherever he leads me, but but I'm very grateful to be be able to stay here, and I think that's that to me is a, a sign that he's he's still very much involved in this whole process because uh, I'm only a third year med student, and, and there it is something that happens with you know like out in western Kansas and the smaller communities and hospitals uh, they'll contract with with someone pretty early, but Salina's never done that before, and uh, so to me that's. I don't know. That's that's pretty amazing. I think that's God. That's that's all Him. Um, the only little piece of the puzzle that still remains is after I graduate from medical school, I do have to complete a three-year residency program. Um, I don't know where that's going to be yet. I hope it's here. There is a really good program here in Salina. Um, I pray that it's here. I ask you guys to pray with me that it's here. But um, I'm at peace. I know that you know wherever I end up, that's he, I'm going there for a reason, and uh, I'm okay with that. But uh, yeah, I really hope it's here. That'd be great. <laughs> um. So what else is going on with me now? Um, God's timing is is always truly amazing. Um, you know, Dad asked me yesterday to come up and share, and it just so happens that this is a, a time um, for me that's been pretty rough. I don't know if it's um, just the time of year because of everything that's been stirred up with, uh, you know, with the memories of Zane and the Kingdom Jam or or what, but I've also been going through a time in, in medical school, not that any of medical school is, is lax, but here recently it's been especially arduous and um, it's going through those one of, one of those times in my life where I feel like I'm really not doing anything well um, I'm getting by and I'm not being a really good husband I'm not being a real good dad um, I'm, on, I'm doing okay I'm doing what I can and I'm not you know being a real super good med student either um, I got a lot of balls in the air right now, and and sometimes it feels like they're falling down around me. And I just share that with you because uh, I know you guys can relate. So <clears throat> you can keep me in your prayers uh, in regards to that. And um, you know, I love I love my wife, I love my kids, and um, and I, I really really want to do right by them. And that's always been my goal through all of this is to. Make sure that they um, knew that they were just as important and actually more important than, than my school. And I haven't been doing a real good job with my daily walk with God lately either. And uh, um, you can feel the effects of that. Just like if you don't eat, you know, you don't eat or you don't drink enough water. And I'm, I'm feeling that. I'm, I'm, I'm drained. I'm just... So it happens, and that's a good lesson for me that I, 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 I need to make that happen. I need to eat. I need to eat spiritually. I need to feed myself. And, uh, and I have the tools available to me, and, and I share that with you as well because I know you all can relate. You know, we all go through periods of time like that where we think, God, I got so much to do. I can I can put off my devotions. I'll do them tomorrow. But the problem is tomorrow becomes the next day, and the next day becomes next week, and the next week becomes 
somewhere down the road. <laughs> and the next thing you know, you're you're wondering why you feel so, bleh, you know. And so that's where I'm at. Um, God is in my life. He's working in my life. He is amazing. His timing is incredible. His love for me and you is incredible. And uh, um, I'm... I'm hoping that uh, what I said resonates with you guys, and I, I, I thank you all for hearing me out, and I thank you for your prayers and support.